hit him with my phone. Hey, look, come on. They're so stinky. Ew. <laughs> um. Don't say that. This rapper's a mathlete, an average athlete. I need to run in like chat meets, but I'm still the same if you ask me. It's a little bit more richer. Can't figure out from a picture. I'm old fashioned with the pitch her. Curse to me from a sister. Welcome to YK Paintball, and today I will be doing a review of the HK Army Crash Knee Pads. Uh, just a quick note about knee pads, super quick. I think. If you're considering whether or not you want knee pads, I would definitely recommend getting knee pads. You know, playing paintball, you're on your knees a lot, and even if you're young and you feel like you're invincible and you can bounce back if you hurt your knees, you can do some real long-term damage to your knees, and that will suck very much in the long run when you're older. So just kind of to protect the longevity of our knees, I would definitely recommend wearing knee pads, even if they're just like cheap kind of volleyball knee pads. Um, definitely wear knee pads. Moving on to these knee pads, the HK Army uh, Crash Knee Pad. Um, a lot of the products that I've reviewed so far, I've really enjoyed. The Spire IR, my grills, I really like those products. I, you know, I would definitely recommend them. But unfortunately, these knee pads are not in that same category for me. I'm kind of ambivalent on them. I think I would give them like at best like a four or five out of 10. Um, and that's kind of for the two main flaws that I'll we'll talk about in a little bit. But first, I'll talk about what I do like about them. The first thing is that, as you can see, the actual pad itself is really beefy. It's a, it's a thick pad. Um, and so when I wear them, my, knee, my knees feel very protected, and I think that they do a good job as a knee pad in, the term, in terms of like being protective. And so they offer really good protection, and I like that a lot. Uh, the other thing that I like is that when they are staying put on your knee, they're actually very comfortable. Uh, they don't restrict my movement all that much. I think knee pads just by nature are going to restrict your movement a little bit, but they don't restrict my movement all that much. They're made out of very lightweight material here. It's sweat wicking and my knees don't feel hot. And so when they're staying put on my knee, they feel very nice. Um, so they're comfortable and they definitely offer a good amount of protection. However, the two problems that I have with these knee pads are kind of deal breakers for me. Um, the first one more so than the second. And so the first problem that I have with these knee pads is that they, I don't think, have the best uh, quality in terms of build quality. Um, I've worn these for about six months. Uh, playing for around two to three times a month and they've already started falling apart and I just don't think a product uh, should fall apart like that. These are priced competitively with other knee pads, these all knee pads and stuff like that that you find on the market and uh, so they're not like a super cheap affordable knee pad or anything like that and these guys are already falling apart. So I really don't like that. Um, you know, I just expect more from a knee pad. You know, these are supposed to be made to hit the ground and be treated really roughly. And for them to be falling apart after just six months is just not worth it, in my opinion. So that's a really big deal breaker for me is that the build quality doesn't seem there. That said, maybe I got a lemon or something like that. Like this, this knee is, is staying, you know, nice and together. So it's just this one that's falling apart. But still, I just don't find that acceptable in a, a like you know high quality paintball product. Now the second thing that I don't like is that these shift around, um, especially when you take a you know a decent slide on the ground. Um, they shift around. And you like have to kind of pull them up to get them comfortable and stuff like that. That's why I said earlier that they're comfortable when they stay put. But unfortunately, these seem to shift around pretty often. I think every single time that I've played, these have shifted around um, and I've had to like, kind of pull them up or something like that. And they definitely aren't too big on me. I, they feel really nice and tight when I wear them and they still shift. And I like really couldn't imagine wearing a smaller size in them. And so this like system where they've got like kind of one adjustable strap on the lower part of the leg, it just doesn't seem to be doing it to keep the knee pad itself in place. And so, 
yeah, they shift around and that's just really annoying and uncomfortable uh, when you're, you know, that's kind of what they're there, they're there for is to stay put and protect your knees and they're not staying put really. So, yeah, unfortunately I don't like these all that much. Like I said, I've reviewed a lot of products that I do like, but these just kind of aren't doing it for me. So if someone were to ask if I recommend these, I would probably say no. Um, I haven't tried a bunch of the new knee pads that are out on the market, but when it comes time to replace these, I'm not going to buy these again. I'm going to at least try something like maybe Carbon or Exalt and see how their, their knee pads hold up. So, yeah, unfortunate, but, um, you know, yeah. So, hope you guys uh, appreciate that review. It can help you out, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that and you want to see more, make sure to follow and subscribe. And if you want to see what I'm doing kind of in my day-to-day, -day, you can follow me on Instagram at yk underscore paintball. And I am currently filming from my new place in Washington, D.C., where I will be staying for the next three months. So if you guys have any field recommendations or anything like that in the Washington, D.C. area, I would definitely appreciate them. Thanks again for watching.